What's up everybody? Main Fly Guy here with another tutorial. This is a craft fur bait fish. Super, super easy and I love it. First you're gonna start with some lateral scale. This is the uh, the small kind. I don't know if they have a size on it. But this is really, really small. And uh, I like to start with some flash in the back. And just loop it up. Tie it down, cinch it in right about when the hook starts to bend, right as soon as it starts to bend there. Tie it in. I leave it long for now. Right now it's very, very long. We're going to cut it um, because this pattern is meant to be a bait fish pattern. It really should only be about four inches long. So here, this one's going to be all white and I have my craft fur here. Super, super great material. What you're going to do is you're just going to... Do little clumps, not a lot, because you're kind of going to do a lot of them. You can pull this sort of the rats out of the bottom here, but here's just a little clump. You'll see it's not very much, right? This is a uh, gamakatsu hook, stinger hook. Uh, I think this is a two aught. Yeah, this is a two aught. So you can see not a lot. So we're going to start on the top, and this is where you're going to dictate the length of your pattern. So I want it to be about, you know, three to four inches long. So find find your spot where you want it to be. Lock it in. Make sure it doesn't roll. Trim the tag ends and secure it in. You want it to stay on top. And you can super glue these sections if this, you know, is for pike or something, but I'm not going to. So now Go in, find your flash, find out how long you want it to be uh, compared to your tail, and just give it a little trim. Okay, so there we go. We have a little flash and a little bit on top. That's all you're going to do. You're going to go craft first section on top one more time to start. So we do two on top to start. And then you go bottom top, bottom top, bottom top, all the way all the way to the uh, to, to the head or to the eye of the hook. Now make sure the bottom gets shorter and shorter and shorter. The top, if you want it to be as long or close to as long, that's fine. But the bottom, we want it to be shorter. All right, so we don't want the tips to line up. We want it to be shorter. By having them shorter, it will create sort of a belly. It'll create a belly appearance. So make sure that the bottom ones are always shorter. But here, I'm going to do this one on top. So after you're done your second one, go ahead and put your first belly. Be careful of the hook because you will you will pinch yourself. Now the bottom, I like to spread out a little bit. More so than the top, I like to just sort of use my thumb, push down and spread it out a bit. Make sure that it's sort of even on both sides and then go ahead and wrap it up. Now you're just gonna alternate. Also a quick tip before I speed it up about your craft fur. You don't want to just randomly take it from any section start in a line so take this top line first then go to the bottom next line then go to the next line that way it'll stay nice and neat and clean and you'll work uh, you'll work down your craft fur and it'll make it much much uh, easier for you and you won't waste material okay so every two uh, every two segments I put another little bit of this of the small lateral flash so every two so I'm going to do one more on top and then I'm going to put lateral flash. I'm going to do two more, put lateral flash, two more, put lateral flash, so forth. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys um, and you guys can watch it in real time and uh, listen to some tunes while it goes. Just 
Just a quick tip about this lateral, or this small lateral flash that I'm putting in. I don't want it to be right on the side. I'm gonna have it wrap up and over um, and kind of be a veil, so to speak. So just use your thumb and just sort of push it down and you can sort of wiggle the fibers to where you want them to be. And then when they're where you want them to be, you can just um, lock them in by moving backwards. So you'll see it's more of a veil now than uh, than just right on the side. It's it's got more of a veiling approach. All right. So now, before I know what you're thinking. Oh, Greg, there's not enough room to do my head now. Trust me, there's enough room. Instead of doing so, I've done two more sections. Instead of doing that sort of veiling. Uh, with the with the thin lateral line, what I have is the same color, but in much uh, it's much thicker. You'll see there it's much much thicker, um, and we are going to place that right where it should, right on the lateral side. You can do one, or you can do two. I like to do one, and we're going to place it a little ways back. But the most important thing is to make sure that it is, in fact, going um, the right direction. And I'll show you that in a second. And then I trim it all the way back to where the fly ends. The most important thing, see, if I leave it like this, it's not really perfect. And you want it to be perfect. Does it really matter? I. I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters. But, you know, you'll see it swimming in the water and you'll be like, oh, that, that line's not perfect and it might bother you. So just spend a little extra time to make sure that it's going directly, uh, directly perpendicular uh, to sort of the ground here. And um, you'll be much happier the way that it swims. You'll be much happier the way that it looks. All right. So now... You're going to go very close to the eye and you're going to use a smaller amount. You're going to use a smaller amount of craft fur and you're going to do the uh, you're going to do the top and the bottom in the same exact location. All right, they're going to be in the same exact location. Just use a smaller amount. That way it will be easier to clip. All right? Also, you're going to veil both the top, so use your thumb, push the fibers around, both the top and the bottom. Alright? There will be a little left over, but if you veil it, you did everything like you were supposed to, you'll be fine. Okay? So there's my top. Now I'm going to do my bottom. And then we'll get ready to put some eyes on. Two loose wraps, veil it, secure it. You're going to want to wrap a bunch here. Do not wrap a bunch because if you wrap a bunch, you're going to build up a big bulky head and we don't really want that. So don't wrap up a bunch. Alright, so there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to keep wrapping it all. I'm just going to start my whip finish. And try to clean up some of these tips out front. Looks great. Okay. So, there's our fly. Looks pretty good right now. I have these eyes that have been on my hand this whole time. These are just living eyes in, in yellow, or I think I think it's wind or, or, or something. Um, we're gonna place them right on. Since this is already, this isn't like a hollow fly, we don't really care about the bulkiness of it. We're gonna place the eyes right on and, and stamp them on. Just make sure that they cover that lateral line. So you see where the lateral line stops, there's that little spot, it's a perfect place to put an eye. So all I do, I just have zap a gap here, just put a little drop down. 
Make sure your eyes are orientated the same way because it's really tragic when they're not. You don't need to push hard, you know? It, this stuff will set fairly decently on its own, so you don't need to like really stamp it down there. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. All right, we had a little zappa gap. <laughs> we had a little zappa gap fun there. A little bit, a little bit too much came out, but we're all set now and we're good. The most important thing is to make sure that your eyes you know, like these aren't exactly lined up. You see like this one's a little more forward. You know, yeah, you know, I guess I could take it off and just redo it or try to slide it back. There we go, that's not bad. But what's most important is that they're parallel to each other. So you see, there's the eye of the hook. It's pointing straight at you guys and the eyes are both parallel. You can feel it um, when you rub your finger across it. That will make it swim straight when you strip it that will make this fly swim straight. If your eyes are off kiltered, you know, if they're too far to the right or too far to the left, um, you know, if they're pivoted this way or pivoted that way, you have the opportunity to move them right now, but just take your time when you're first setting them and you can kind of check yourself, say, okay, that needs to be a little tweaked there or tweaked there, you know, but for the most part, these are pretty good. Um, because this is really going to dictate the way that it swims, the way that it cuts and stuff, so you really want that to be dead center. Much time on them. So that's the craft bait fish. I uh, hope you guys like it. Leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and we'll catch you next time.